Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about selective breeding. Uh, we're going to talk about natural breeding, then selective breeding and how that's different, uh, and then talk about two technologies or processes that are used in selective breeding, artificial pollination and artificial insemination. Okay, so firstly, you know what natural breeding. So natural breeding is what would happen out in the wild if we hadn't modified the wild so much. Uh, where random mating occurs between members of the same species. Uh, so in flowers, this would be um, the bees and butterflies uh, traveling from one flower to another, uh, pollinating a field. Uh, in animals, this would be um, choosing their, or animals choosing their mate uh, based on all those things that they base it on, like mating rituals and color and bird song. Um, and all that sort of stuff. So the stuff that happens out naturally in the wild. This results in traits being passed randomly uh, throughout the population from uh, parent to offspring. Uh, and also means that those traits which are detrimental or not advantageous uh, to the species are selected against through natural selection uh, and you don't see them occurring as much. Selective breeding or artificial breeding is a process where humans uh, interfere with that natural uh, breeding and choose which individuals that they want to breed. Um, and generally, this is traits that we consider to be desirable, uh, that we selectively breed over others. Uh, so an example of uh, animals that have been selectively bred over thousands of years are uh, dogs. Um, we've bred traits into them that uh, we want, um, that are desirable for us um, for various reasons, whether that's um, because you like the look of a particular uh, breed or you want uh, that breed for hunting uh, or you want it for, I don't know, fighting a bull or something like that. Um, these uh, traits have been bred over generations and generations uh, to give us all the different breeds of dog that we have today. This doesn't necessarily mean that those traits that are bred into the species are desirable for the species itself or for the individuals. Uh, and there are many examples of uh, genetic disorders uh, and issues that have been bred into pure breed dogs um, in the effort to get those particular traits that we like. Um, as with dogs, this selective breeding is not a new concept. We've been doing this for thousands of the years, basically since humans have been humans. Um, so as well as dogs and animals that have been selectively bred, uh, we've also selectively bred uh, plants. Uh, and in particular, the vegetables that we eat uh, are all, well, mostly, uh, very, very different to their wild versions. And that's by us choosing the traits that we want in a vegetable uh, and selectively breeding individuals uh, that have that trait. Uh, for example, kale, cabbage, broccoli and cauliflower all came from the one ancestor, uh, the wild mustard plant, which was a edible plant. Um, and different traits, whether it has lots of big leaves or big buds, or the flower buds and stems in the case of broccoli. Um, so that's different parts of this plant that have been bred along different lines to give us the vegetables that we have today. And when we think of a uh, natural bounty that would come from the garden uh, in a farm, uh, a lot of those things, if not all of those things, have been selectively bred uh, to be the way that we actually know them now. We're now going to look at a couple of uh, technologies, low-tech technologies, but still technologies, uh, that help uh, the selective breeding process. Uh, so one of these is artificial pollination. So this is a, a technology that's used on plants uh, and results in humans having more control over the progeny or the offspring of those particular plants. Now there's a couple of ways that this can be done. Uh, one way is by uh, picking a flower. Um, so rather than the bee taking the pollen from the uh, male parts of the flower, uh, the anther, to the uh, female part of the flower, the pistil, that flower is picked and the uh, pollen is rubbed directly onto uh, the pistil of another flower. 
thus pollinating that flower. Another way to do this without actually damaging the flower is by using a little paintbrush and getting the pollen from uh, one plant and placing it on the, the pistil. You can see here the female part of another plant. Um, and this is actually what Gregor Mendel uh, did, and he went so far as to uh, cut the male parts off some of his plants and the female parts off other uh, of his plants uh, so that there was no chance of that cross-pollination. Uh, in animals, uh, technology that we have is artificial insemination. Uh, and again, this is something that's used for this selective breeding. Uh, with selective breeding, you get the bull that you like and the cow that you like and you put them in a pen together um, and allow them to breed. Artificial insemination means that you don't actually have to put that bull into the pen with the cow. Um, you can actually uh, harvest the bull's sperm or semen uh, and that can be actually shipped over a long distance to cows uh, all around the country or the world. Uh, so the sperm is collected uh, from the male. Uh, that sperm is usually then uh, genetically tested to make sure it's, um, it's good uh, and then stored for transport. Um, and then, as I said, can be transported pretty much anywhere in the world uh, and that sperm is placed into the uterus of a female. Uh, so this is, uh, accelerates the control uh, that we have over the gene pool of these particular animals. In this video, we've talked about natural breeding uh, that happens in the wild, leaving it to chance uh, with the birds and the bees, uh, selective breeding, choosing which uh, organisms or which individuals are going to mate um, to produce desirable traits that are desirable for humans as we're interfering. Uh, we've talked about artificial pollination, uh, taking that chance out of uh, the selective breeding of plants, and artificial insemination, uh, being a more convenient way uh, to for selective breeding to occur in animals. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.